Kai, you look. Oh yeah, this guy. Kai, you look troubled. Does he talk like this? Talk like this? Well, well, if the equipment is on avatar to survive in a desert world environment, something about the nipples. What? Nipples? What? Who said this? Anyways, uh, a lot of restraints, some person like that. A person, just a person. A bull, the cars, and the pacers need to be crying over the town. A bull? That's right, a little bird told me a story like him a few years ago now. Only one of the Caliph at the side, the balloon, the bleak. Cheese? What, what cheese? I wasn't reading that part. I guess in reality... Without a moment's hesitation, a bull has set off to look for them all. Though so the force of the cross and rendered battered by blisters and surviving the most of the wing and a prayer. But finally, he came to the roost and... Call blimey, it must... it must have stank. I crawl restrained and goodness and does and needed what I meant to do that. Crikey, there's impressive. He did all that and risked everything. Her her move who just so her move moss Venus, whatever the fuck that is. Have her snack. Tidy, we must have found our man, Ollie Boy. Nito, we should go find him right away. Well that was a waste of time. <laughs> I would say it's a waste of time, but it helps me get my next waypoint. I didn't have to talk around town. <laughs> sprint! There's no sprint button. What the fuck? I'm clicking the L3 button. Nothing's working. Well, of course this palace will have to be big for how big she is, jeez. Another excuse for me to run so far. Wonder why the locket didn't glow earlier then. <sighs> Fine, it's glowing now. Mr. Balthor, we found some, some... Found out about some... Oh, found out? Oh, sorry, I'm reading it wrong. Uh, it's late. <laughs> Anyways, you did? This, ex this is excellent news. There must be... You must tell me, who is it? It's you. Me? But impossible. Not in the slightest, Peter. P Peter Patience? Patience? Whatever. Patience. Look at Ollie Boy's, look at Ollie Boy's locket. It's glowing up a, a treat. Would you let us borrow some of your restraint, Mr. Abol? Hmm, well, I... Of course you may. For Her Majesty's. For Her Majesty anything. And what must I do? There's nothing to it. Just lie back and think of El Mamun. Well, get on it, Ollie boy. Sure, here goes. <laughs> Finish him! The fatality was once said again. It's a never-ending thing. The power to resist the demon of temptation. I will die the demon of temptation. Tidy, all done. Already? And this is truly enough to restore her majesty from her former to her former glory? You bet it is. And give heart. Oh, I have to talk to her first. Yeah, of course. Useless. Give me my cheese. I don't got cheese for you, bitch, but I got restraint. Restraining order. Filed a restraining order for the weird shit that happened earlier. In her case, you'd have to keep freaking 260 feet from her. <laughs> Ooh, correction. 500 feet. When was the last time I stood on these feet? God, too much animation was put into her uh <coughs> jiggleness. Imagine the rancid smell coming from her breath. We feel quite marvelous. 
Whatever could have happened to us? These humble servants made your Majesty's ailing heart whole again. Oh, okay. I don't want to say anything. I pray that our beloved Caliph's most generous appetite has now abated. Well, now, we still wish to enjoy the finer things in life, of course. But we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint <laughs> may serve to set a good example for our dearest subjects. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Al Mamun can return to its former magnificence. Indeed it can, and we are simply itching to return to our limits. Munificent Caliph, should these humble servants not be rewarded for their services to Al Mamun? Indeed they should. Boy, is there something you desire? Minor, I mean money. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> If it's not too much trouble. Well, what is it? We'd like to borrow your ship. Ship? I'm pressing something, come on. A little floaty wooty. Uh, yes, of course. A little floaty wooty. Yes, of course what you may borrow it. It is of little use to us. We will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to help you in any way he can. Wow, she has some powerful magic. Well, gee. She summoned a fucking pen and a stool to write it on. Tidy, the boat is in the bag. So if you give this letter to me, is it going to be like the size of my whole being? Because it's not going to be easy to carry. But why in the world would a dear little thing like you have me? Floaty Guess who's gonna be carrying the letter, <clears throat> Drippy? A letter of passage. Mm -hmm. Good thing for my bottomless bag, I don't have to be hauling it. <laughs> well, we asked you a question, did we not? It's funny because if uh, I think it was Ding Dong Bell, the cat was saying one a lot. This one says we. Crazy. Go on, man. Okay. Dialogue. Need to find oh. one of the great sages. The great sages. Hmm. Yes, we are aware of them. Abul, we know of them. Do we not? I, I'm not sure. Indeed, most learned Khalifa, but little has been heard of such men since the magical arts fell from favor. Why do you seek the great sages, travelers? We need their help. We need their power to defeat Shadar. <gasps> yeah, I knew it. What? Impossible! And the music stop. Is something wrong? <laughs> we are not unamused. We are not unamused. But we can see that you speak in earnest. Very well. We will tell you what we know. Speak in earnest. <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> you will? I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> there were once four great sages. We understand that one of them was defeated by Shaddaa. Talk so slow. Oh. But we know of one who did not perish. You do? Well... He lives in the land of Hamlin, a detestable and warlike realm. Just earlier, didn't it sound like Drippy was had his his sore his throat was sore? <clears throat> but he is a handsome young thing. We even keep a picture of him. That's creepy. I mean, that's convenient. Crikey, sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. I feel sorry for the poor lad. So this is one of the great sages, huh? That's a clue and a half, that is, Ollie boy. There's Lucky. <laughs> now, 
before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic to aid you on your journey. Really? You're a wizard too, Your Majesty. <laughs> well, not a fully fledged wizard, perhaps, but we royals all know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two up his own kingly sleeves. He sure does. He taught me some real neat magic. Neat. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater. Ooh. We received nature's tongue spell. See, that's a burden spell. Oh, yeah, man. That's Makes sense for her. Is a real classic, like... It's your lucky day, Oliver. Yeah. Can I use them in combat? May serve <laughs> you well. Do be careful out there now, won't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Stop saying that. It's not as bad as Your Majesty. It sounds silly. Majesty is kind of equally dumb, but slightly less. I don't know about being dumb. It's just oh, cutesy, wootsy, mootsy. Finally, we can proceed. Proceed. The game more. After that big. Gap in the in gameplay. <laughs> Big story thing. Now you can finally fight with familiars. Well, at least it's not as big as the cutscenes in something like Xenosaga or what am I thinking of? Um, something more modern. I'm thinking maybe Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid Four: Guns of the Patriots. Yeah, story in that. There is a lot of talking. In fact, all Metal Gear Solid games are like that. A lot of talking, a lot of action, a lot of sword fighting. But you don't do the sword fighting. Revengeance!